Hi guys and welcome to my your three minute craft video and I'm going to see if I can explain this craft to you within three minutes. Roll the intro. And now that the intro has played, you know what you're watching. So, first you need to have some soap, and you need an adult to help supervise, and they, and you may need them to help you. Okay, so we first start off with grating the soap. This is going to take ages. Mum, can you help me? <laughs> Okay, my mum is grating the soap now. This may take a while. Okay, uh, I'll see you after she has done this. Okay, bye. Hey guys, we are back and I managed to con my mum into grating me four soaps. So this will make you four the soap's worth. Okay, so if you have any big bits left in here, then you can just grab a piece of water or the end of a rolling pin and just smash it up until it's a convenient size. Okay, so now it's this is good, we'll need to whisk it up. And we'll put in some liquidy ingredients like we have here. Okay, so let's get this in here. Okay, there we are. Then we need to put this stuff in and I've decided to have it red, so I think we'll put it in whilst we're whisking, whilst it's whisking, well maybe before we start whisking, and we're, supposed, we're going to put these scents in. Why are you using those ones? Because this is the scent they put on Jesus' body after he died. Oh. Okay, so we're going to put this in first. So it's an Easter smell? Yep. Then we're going to put some uh, uh, and frankincense in there, and what's the other one called? Neroli. Neroli. Okay, so uh, let's put these in. Okay. Is that the frankincense? I'm not sure which one is this. need to put the dye in when it's a bit more liquidy so I'll wait till it's been whisked for a while then we'll stop it. 30 seconds and then we'll put the dye in. Now let's put this in and we've got some other things we're going to put in. Do you have to put some flavourings in if you don't have any essential oils at home? If you don't have any essential oils, you don't have to put anything in, basically. You just have to stir it up. Well, you might want to put something like water in, because otherwise it will be a bit too hard. It used to be a bit li quite liquidy. Okay, so uh, need to put this in. We can't use that much of it because we need it to combat coronavirus. <laughs> Listen. What's that? Uh, hand cream. <laughs> if you don't have to put any hand cream in if you don't want to, or if you don't have any, of course that's fine. Am I supposed to put that rubbing alcohol in there? I wouldn't put rubbing alcohol in. You can do. Uh, if you want it to be super clean. Yeah, but it might not be that good for your skin. That's true. So yours is going to be a nice moisturising soap, isn't it, for people with dry hands? Yeah. Now we can put some aloe vera in, and that was olive oil we just put in. 
Why are you putting aloe vera in? Because it's good for your hands. Perfect. Just like the hand cream. Come on. Come out. That was a bit hard to get out. <laughs> okay, so let's start whisking. Would you like me to move some of those things out of the way for you? Okay, so make sure you haven't activated it, switch the switch on, until you have put all your ingredients in. So we can switch it on now, and then you have to scooch this up and push it down. And don't forget, my mum is actually holding the camera, so she's supervising me. Uh, I, I'm not just doing it on my own. <laughs> okay, so let's put it on min. To start. Gonna need to be a bit more liquidy when we put the dye in. You, you don't need to see this. Can, can you cut it? It's not quite moisturising enough, so we're going to put some water in. Just a little bit. And we're going to put some dye in. Okay, remember you do not put a lot of this in. You just need a few drops. Okay. So now let's start whisking again. Then it'll eventually turn red. That looks good. Can I turn it up a bit higher? Do you want me to turn it off while it's mixing? Yeah. So we've slowly turned it up to max now. And we put a little bit more dry in just so it's a bit a bit further because it wasn't that it didn't make that much difference last time and it's just going to make like some pink bunnies. That's that's why we chose pink. Okay. So I think that's the right consistency now, so yep. I think we can turn it off now. Oh wow, look at that. So what are we going to do now? We need to get it out and we need to put it in the moulds, don't we? Perfect. Okay, so we are using a spatula to get off all of the soap, but it looks a bit like icing, off of this. Come on, come off. Okay, so there are the moulds that we're going to put it into. Okay, so let's put that there. Let's get this out. <sighs> now we'll use the spatula to get a big chunk out. Then we'll put fluff it into the mould. Now they're all in their moulds and it'll take about a day you for to dry and now we can pack all this stuff away and we can put them on somewhere like a windowsill. We don't have any windowsills, so we'll, we'll put them on top of that microwave there. So I'll, I'll pop them there now to dry and we'll check on them tomorrow morning. What are we going to do with them when they're done? We are going to use them as Easter gifts for all of our neighbours. Of course, we, if you make them, you don't have to do this. You can use them for anything, you can use them for yourself, you can give them to like, any of your family or as like a present or something. You don't have to give it to your neighbours for an Easter <laughs> gift. And you can make them whatever shape you want. Okay, so we check on them tomorrow? Yep. Okay, bye for now. Bye. Hi guys, it has been a few days since we made the soap and we are going to get the soap out today okay so let's get this stuff out oh oops we we have made bunnies we have made bears <laughs> oops okay so let's get this out okay try not to break it 
and done. Hold it up, let me see. It's a cute pink bear soap. <laughs> We've got some pink ones and white ones. My mum put those ones in. I put those ones in with a little help from my mum. What do you think? Are you happy? Yep. Right, what are you going to say then? Bye. See you next time.